Oh no! Not back in the trap! Trap? Coach? Coach! Where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? <gasps> Are regrets dangerous? Oh yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit. We're partying like it's 2005 again. Psychonauts 2 is the direct sequel to Psychonauts, which was released back in 2005. But Psychonauts 2 is also a continuation of Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin, released in 2017. Psychonauts 2's colorful and creative levels and improvements to the gameplay make it feel more like a platformer for 2021, but a lot of its fundamental design and combat feels useless, but it's strong enough to support the real reason anyone should play this game. The characters. It's crucial they find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now how long till we reach the Lady Lectopus? It's been a couple of days since the Psychonauts saved Truman Zanato, the head of the Psychonauts. But now there's a new and familiar threat and it's up to the team to take it down. Maligula. It's true. That's what I was working on when I was taken. Unfortunately, this familiar threat left most of the senior agents mentally broken from a battle 20 years ago. So like any impatient and talented 10 year old, Raz wants to fix each agent's mind. The story naturally flows from the previous games and Double Fine does a great job catching players up to everything that happened in the beginning for people who hadn't played the first two games. But the format for each mind you enter follows a predetermined and tiresome pattern. You ask to enter the agent's mind. You enter their mind. Then you have to solve a series of three challenges to help whatever the agent was dealing with. After several levels, the formula makes the stages feel monotonous and it changes the focus on how creative the levels are to when the levels will be over. That feeling extends to the whole game, which can take 10 to 15 hours to complete. Psychonauts 2 could have ended 2 to 4 hours earlier if Double Fine hadn't included each agent, and it feels like the big payoff is delayed again and again, and you're mostly getting the same exhausted level design for your effort. There's no question that the levels are amazing though. Each level is a representation of something that the mind is dealing with, and while repeating the rule of threes feels mundane, each level does have its own satisfying payoff even if they don't ultimately lead to the bigger story payoff. One of the standout levels features Helmet Full Bear and his trauma from being torn away from his friends and wondering if they even care to look for him. That trauma is depicted as him and his friends in a band and a psychedelic 70s style world. And the goal is to get the band back together again. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. The ending hits right in the field. Yeah. Every mind has menacing enemies portrayed as different negative thoughts of the mind. Raz comes with a variety of abilities to deal with those enemies. You can use melee attacks, you can shoot lasers with psi blasts, you can create a dome of fire, and there are many other abilities. The problem with abilities is you won't need most of them. Sure, you can use melee to attack many of the enemies, but it's much more efficient to shoot them with your psi blast. Some enemies require that you use certain abilities, but there's not enough of them to keep encounters interesting. The combat also constantly changes to suit the new shiny ability you equipped. Learn the time bubble ability? Now you'll use it for the rest of the level and many times after. As you move further on, those old abilities are forgotten for the new ones. Reasons to use those old abilities will occasionally show up, but it feels shoehorned in. That impacts how you choose your upgrades as well. Raz can upgrade his abilities by acquiring skill points in a number of ways, but it's hard to decide what to upgrade because none of them feel necessary early on. Of course, as you progress, you'll find reasons to upgrade, but by that time, the Psy Blast and Pyrokinesis are the most useful skills, and there's really no need to put points into anything else except for efficiency. The issue of new and shiny isn't just a combat problem either. Characters come and go throughout the story. The interns are one of the more egregious examples. They don't like you, they bully you, but over time you get to know them, and have conversations with them, and build an emotional connection. My name is Raz. And I'm 
the new intern. But then Raz's family shows up, and the interns are no longer the focal point, or hardly shown. This pattern continues as more and more characters appear. They all have fantastic voice acting. I remember now, this stuff is called Ivy. I assume because of all the giant eyes. But there's no resolution to Raz's connection with everyone he meets. There's no doubt you should play Psychonauts too. There are problems with mundane level patterns and a recurring problem for getting the old for the new, but the characters have incredible voice acting, they are rich and vibrant, and they're the biggest reason Psychonauts 2 works so well. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment! Court is in session! Please remain standing! If you're able!